Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about finding good deals. Is it possible? How to do so? And this is the best deal I have seen on Star City Games. Uh, now, what is the deal? It is for something called HP Collections. This is new, or at least I haven't seen this before. Star City Games has traditionally not sold heavy play, so the HP is heavily played. Cards, because a lot of times those cards you want to see in person, and if they are have any value to them, the extent as to what heavy play is defined as will vastly determine their value, and even if they're tradable. But the HP Collection Tribal Series, they also have EDH Series and Modern Series and I think Legacy Series even. I saw Burn and Merfolk. Featured cards from some of Magic the Gathering's most popular tribes and are a great way to start a casual tribal deck, all included or sleeve playable. So they kind of got around this concept of what is heavy play by saying it's sleeve playable. Now, why is this so good? It is $8.99, but you get Coat of Arms and you get Urza's Incubator. Coat of Arms, Arms is around $6 right now. Uh, it's a great card, but it has been reprinted to Oblivion and back. Not, I don't remember if it's recently, but I remember essentially 7 for this and 9 for this. All the core sets pretty much hit or miss had it. Now, Urza's Incubator, that's the, that's the interesting one, right? It's very appealing because that card alone is worth more than $9. That's $12, $14, and it looks like it is trending up. So between Urza's Incubator and the Coat of Arms, you pretty much double your money back. You also get a few mirrors. Uh, most not mm, I think the only one that's notable is the Mirror Battle Spare. The other ones seem like commons and uncommons to me. I could be wrong about that. Mirror Retriever is pretty good, but you kind of need multiple of them to go come infinite. And I think the rest just produce, produce mana, which is not bad, but it's not great. So you can find really good deals on websites, uh, name, mainly off-brand off websites, uh, more individual websites. I used one in Maryland. They're a family-run business, and they have very good prices. And... It's kind of just like, oh, I need 200 copies of this. Okay, cool. Bye. Uh, from one place. Now, it is. it would be less expensive for me to buy 200 copies in TCG Player sometimes, but convenience, right? The convenience and the fact that it's in one package and I don't need to see, hmm, I have 10 packages coming. I don't know what's going on with all 10 of them. And I don't want to track all that because the worst is like one package get lo gets lost and then you have to figure out who sent you the package. Anyway... Star State of Games is reliable. They will ship you out what you order at the price you ordered at. Um, and that's that's why they are premium. That's why they cost more. A lot of times when you buy a card and it goes up in price, maybe you don't even know. Maybe you are one of the people who just like the card and need it in your ED8 stack. People don't ship it to you. But Star City Games, for the most part, will ship it to you. So as you can see recently, actually it's even higher than I remember. It's 16 bucks for Urza's Incubator and 14 for the Commander 2015 version, which came in the Boros Angel deck, I believe. Or well, if it wasn't the Boros Angel deck, there was a lot of angels in that deck. Overall, quite compelling. I would say that you can get deals out there, but you have to look at all the pages. Heavily played, I mean, heavily played is not the best condition, or a moderately played here is $14 still. Heavily played probably is 10 But even having one card to be worth the $9, then that means everything else, including Coat of Arms, which is worth a chunk itself, is free. And you can order 100 of these, or you can order 200. Um, obviously, they have been sold out, and I'm making this video a little delayed because that's how I make videos. And I would say there are good deals to be had. The hev buying heavily played cards means you can get premium cards for very cheap. Uh, when I when my cards fell in the swimming pool, I actually got offers, um, and I sold probably if it was near mint, probably four hundred dollars of cards for about twenty five dollars, and I felt good, and the person felt good. 
I mean, I don't know what they did with it. Uh, I guess they could iron them out and flatten them out and then try to sell them. And maybe that worked for them, maybe it didn't. But I was just glad to get $25 because I was more than expected. Actually, and I had a video on this channel where I was just ripping them because <laughs> it was more, it's better to get the $1 ad revenue, right? People didn't like that video apparently. I, I mean, I have, I still have some of them uh, because uh, I just kept them. Death Baron, I have Death Barons that are warped because uh, they, again, they fell in the swimming pool and that was that. I don't know, like heavily played is interesting. Uh, there's two interesting things going on here. It's one, Star City Games is very, very quick to catch a spike. But if the spike is on a secondary page that they don't really pay attention to, such as the HP collection, they didn't catch in time. They sold a bunch of these and people made money. Uh, this was a excellent buy, no matter how you put it. And from a website which typically prices are much more expensive and you're never going to find a good deal. Like right now they're doing 15% off commander cards, but they're all like junky cards, right? They're all like 50 cent cards. Now that cost it 42 cents. It's like, wow, no, these are bulk. So heavily played, it might be a market for this. I think what the market would be, would be you going to GP, you buying the heavily played, but like the ones that are not physically damaged, and then you put them in the sleeve and then you trade them away. A lot of Magic players are not going to care what the condition is. There is a subset that just wants the card. It's very appealing. I haven't got into this market yet, but I assume that I can get it. GP Houston is in January, I think. I will be there, and I'm going to try to see if this plan works, uh, and I'm going to go to the GP booths and buy all the heavily played stuff. And then take them back to locals and see if like locals won't want it. I can give this so heavily played normally is fifty percent. You let's say Ursa's incubator cost uh, sixteen dollars. Heavily played would be like eight dollars, but I think someone would pay eight dollars for the heavily played uh, Ursa's incubator. I think someone would pay let's say ten, which is a, that's a big chunk. That's twenty five percent investment uh, and a flip. I think it would flip very well. Because by definition, you're picking up these cards that are very good. The only issue is that they're heavily played. I don't know. I think there is a market demand for these. And this is probably the best deal I've seen in Star City in 2017. Anyway, bye guys.